Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at the Permaculture Research Institute's website, and they're talking about ram pumps. And we're also going to talk about the spiral pump really quick, but there are two ways you can move water up a hill without using electricity. You need running water, though, like a small stream or river, perhaps. So the ram pump, we might as well just go right to the diagram. For every foot of drop, you get about seven feet of lift. Now, it doesn't create a constant pressure. You're not gonna use a ram pump to run irrigation systems. What you'll use it for is to fill up ponds up at the top of the hill, maybe a water tower. If you have 10 foot of natural drop, most drip tape, drip irrigation will run on four PSI. And about 10 foot drop equals about 4.4 PSI. So you can use this as the beginning stage to get the rest of your irrigation system ready. So the way it works is you have the water a little bit higher than the pump assembly. The water flows down here. Water is real heavy, about 10 pounds a gallon or so, a little less. As it flows through here, it opens up through the delivery valve. And number nine here, the check valve, is the key to how it works. So the water pressure will open the check valve, and then as the water tries to flow downhill, it'll slam it shut. So it's almost like a pulse. It just pulsates open and shut, open and shut, and will slowly lift the water up higher than the source water is. And of course, you have to have the uh, waste valve in different parts. If you want to build one of these, I highly suggest going on YouTube, like you are now, and searching for how to build a ramp pump. Now, spiral pumps work sort of like an Archimedes screw, where the water will enter one end and then the flow of the water will keep it going and then it'll slowly move up and up and up into this outgoing pipe and then basically the highest point on the screw is the highest point in which you're allowed to pump it. Now there is one other source of uh, pumping water without electricity that's basically a windmill. You set up a windmill irrigation system and it'll pump water up to about the highest point where the windmill's at or wherever your pump priming situation is at. Of course, I will link to this article here in the description if you want to read more about it. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.